चैप्टर वन इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्ड्स थ्री और फाइव मार्क टॉपिक्स अले दिस इज टॉपिक नंबर टेन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट ए पॉइंट आउटसाइड अ चार्ज्ड थिन स्पेरिकल शेल बाय यूजिंग गॉजस लॉ ओके हियर दिस इज यूवर थिन स्पेरिकल शेल एंड आउटसाइड दैट शेल देर इज अ पॉइंट पी इले इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू दिस charged uniformly charged shell yeshta danta kandidibeku and we are going to derive that in derive martta idivu now we are going to derive that that e is equals to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not q q is uh, the charge uniformly distributed over the shell uh, divided by r square r square is the distance between the center of the shell and the point p you edra madde iruvanta distance okay Now to derive this, so then derive model. Like, you need to gain more. You should know a few things. First, electric flux. Under this, that you need to get idea. Into electric flux. Under flux means something that is flowing out. Under that, okay. The equation, I know. Hey, get the note. Suppose this is a frame. Okay, and uh, this is the flow of water. Under that, Corey. Here is the flow of water. And imagine. Okay, in that, do hold this frame in the direction. of the flow of water in other the area vector of the frame and the direction of flow of water one day direction at the karati hold madre now you can see the maximum amount of water can flow through this area okay when the angle between the direction of flow of water and the area vector zero idaga okay tilt it idana tilt madre the amount of water flowing through this frame decrease aitu when uh, theta is equals to 90 the direction of flow of water is in this direction and the area vector of that frame is like this here the angle between these two is 90 ega the amount of water flowing through this frame is zero okay using this we can express the electric flux in anta flux is equals to that is electric field into area into cos theta anta helthivi or that is the dot product of electric field and Area under that, okay, or even you can express that electric flux is equals to that is the a dot product of electric field and the area vector. I'm telling you here, okay. And uh, another thing you should know, matte ni gor tur bekni maga. You should know Gauss law. Gauss law kora gor tur beko. Gauss law ayan under that the the flux through any closed surface or imaginary surface, okay, or Gaussian surface under that la. That is equals to one by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by that surface. Here, the total charge enclosed is Q. Q is equal to Q one plus Q two plus Q three and then Corey. And here, Gauss law says that electric flux is equal to one by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by that Gaussian surface. Okay. Now, what we need to derive? We need to derive the expression for electric field outside a charged thin spherical shell using Gauss law. Okay, first you need to uh, write a expression for uh, Gauss law or uh, statement of Gauss law. Na bari beko. Here and there the statement: the total electric flux through a closed surface in free space is equal to one by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by the surface. And there are the. Okay, that is what here it says that. A flux is equals to one by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed. Now you can see here this is a spherical shell. Idhen kaan thayro do spherical shell idho, and the charges are uniformly distributed over the shell. Charges seno uniform agi distribute hogi thao, and there is a point P outside the shell. Okay, shell hara gade one point P idha, adu R distance si gada, and illi electric field yes to danta na ukani tipe ko. Here. uh what you need to do you have to draw the gaussian surface that includes that point p and include agoga in madbeku gaussian surface ana draw madbeku and this uh, is a spherical shell this is green circular shell is a spherical shell now you need to write the description about the diagram e is electric field e eno denadu electric field adu capital r Is the radius of the thin spherical shell with center O? Okay, here R and O. Then that is the radius of the 
thin spherical shell. P is the point at which electric field is to find. P is the point at which electric field is to find. Small r is the distance between the point P and O. Point P is the distance between O and O. P is the distance between O and O. Delta A is the area element around the point P. Around the point P, the area element is the area element. That is delta A. After this, let charge Q be the uniformly distributed over the surface of a shell. The electric flux through the Gaussian surface is given by the formula flux is equal to summation of E into delta A cos theta. That is our first equation. Here the angle theta between the electric field and delta A is 0. Therefore cos of 0 is equal to 1. Hagagi equation na main barita idhi. Flux is equal to summation of E into delta A. Here theta is 0 anta hata idhi. What do you mean by that? Here the area vector ili ro dala delta A. Mathe electric field. Yedra du direction one day direction of the angle between these two is 0 anta hata idhi. That for cos of 0 is equals to 1. And therefore equation in ito a flux is equals to E Vargadani summation of delta A. Okay, what do you mean by summation of delta A? Summation of delta A and 4 pi r square. That is the area of spherical Gaussian surface. The whole area of the spherical Gaussian surface and I mean that is 4 pi r square. E surface area na brita divi that is 4 pi r square and here it is 4 pi r square and therefore equation 2 in i2 flux is equal to e into 4 pi r square and okay this is our equation 3 now from gauss law a flux is equals to 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge and closed and here on comparing equation 3 see the equation number 3 and equation number 4 here do no compare moderate. Here flux is equal to E into 4 pi r square. Other. Flux is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge Q. Other. And from these two equations you can express E into 4 pi r square is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed. And rearrange this and you can write that is E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught divided into Q divided by r square. Okay, what is this? This is the um, electric field at point P due to the uniformly charged spherical shell and the direction of electric field E is along the OP. Here, the direction along the OP is the electric field direction. And if you want to ask a question, you may ask a question. Expression for electric field at a point just outside the charged thin spherical shell by using Gauss law antunu kelabodu okay how to answer this again same thing you have to write the Gauss law statement or expression first bari beko anantra in bari beko in the just outside the spherical shell what do you mean by that here you need to express the electric field just outside the charge this is a charged spherical shell and point p is just outside. Agale ni to point P dhoor ittu ullu. Ega just outside the spherical shell adha. Okay and you need have to draw the diagram properly and E regarding diagram you have to write some description that is here E is the electric field and what is that R here? R e na do. R is the radius of a thin spherical shell of center O and P is a point at a distance R from O. Okay, R distance again approximately in the radius of the shell distance point P. Let Q be the charge uniformly distributed over the surface of uh, the shell. And we have electric field at a point outside the charged shell is given by the expression E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square by the day. And when the point P lies just outside the shell that small r is nearly equals to capital R, capital R that is the radius of the 
spherical shell and equation 1 becomes a is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square and the now e is equal to i can write 1 by epsilon naught ille barita 4 pi q divided by 4 pi r square then just rearrange mat heeg barita idini matte enu but you know what 4 pi r square that is the area of the shell agutte and we have a surface charge density enadala that is sigma is equal to charge divided by area anta barita idini okay charge that is q and area is 4 pi r square and equation 2 see the equation 2 i mean equation 2 enagutte iga equation 2 nan hege bari bodu i can write e is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the charge density or surface charge density anta bari bodu or that e is equals to surface charge density by epsilon naught anta nan hege bodu what is this anta kelda this is the electric field due to a spherical shell just outside the spherical shell ago. just outside the spherical shell the electric field at this point is it's very simple e is equals to sigma divided by epsilon naught what is that e what is the sigma sigma is surface charge density divided by epsilon naught and uh, you may ask another case maton case will kel bodu that may be for one marks or a two mark what is that electric uh, field at a point inside the shell in agatte anta nu kel bodu adu en agatre anta here electric suppose this is your uh, uh, this is what a spherical shell and uh, point p is inside the shell and tankori and you have to draw the gaussian surface this dotted circle is a gaussian surface and uh, you can see there is no charge inside the gaussian surface okay if the charge inside the gaussian surface is zero and the flux through this gaussian surface also zero agate okay and therefore, electric field inside the shell is you know, zero. Here, electric field at a, any point inside the shell is zero. Uh, this is because the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface is zero. If flux is equals to, you know what flux is equals to in Baritadri? 1 by epsilon naught times the charge Baritadri. It will charge a zero. Other. Charge zero. Other. In Aitu, electric field inside the shell also zero. Agate. 